In this video we're going to build a suction device for these 3D filament storage bags. I've been using the storage bags for quite a while to keep the moisture out. This is airlock bags. I really like these. They're very tough, reusable. They work really well. Originally I started out using one of these manual suckers, which they work, but they're quite hard to get going. A lot of hard work. So then I moved on to the uh, motorized kind, which works pretty well. And these guys just go on the valve, and you just push the button, and it kicks off. But it works well, but it takes a little while to operate. It's not too long, but I figured, can I get it to go faster? Let's try with three motors. So here we go. Found some small vacuum pumps online, designed around these, and got 3D printing. The motors slide in like this into the three slots. Like then we got the connectors at the end. Got to keep the motors in there. Got a little retainer. So we just screw this guy on. So the motors are nice and secure. So to power the pumps, I'm just using a standard USB cable. And so I've just trimmed the connector off one end. This gives you positive, is red, negative, is black, and then you got the data cables. So we just trim off the data cables. And so all we're going to do is get the lid on, wrap the cables in these slots so it's all nice and neat and tidy. I've got the cables in, I haven't screwed the lid on yet. It's not quite as easy as I hoped. I think I'll have to make the lid a bit bigger and more spacious. So there's more room for the cables. So I'll just get a couple of screws now and screw the lid on. So this is the suction head. This is a super smooth surface, so this is going to go onto the vacuum bag, face down like that. And inside you can see there's a hole. And basically that routes through to these little towers here. And this these will connect up to the suction to the motor head. These are just connectors for the motor. So it'll basically be positioned like this. Putting on these silicon connectors. So this is just silicon tubing. Cut short pieces to connect across. And just slide them on one end. And now we connect up to the pumps like this. Connecting each of the silicon tubes. Now we've just got to put the screws in to connect it all together. Alright, I think it's time to plug in and see if it sucks. The power source I'm using is a USB power supply. It's got four ports and this outputs 5 volts, 4.2 amps, so it should be heaps of power. So give it a try. I'll just plug in one at a time, just see if they're all working. One. Two, three. Wow, it sounds like a symphony. And I can definitely hear it sucking. So I'm going to just test it. Oh, that was quite uncomfortable. Yeah, it definitely sucks. Maybe that's not too good for you. Alright, give it a test with a real bag. One of the airlock bags here, it's got a ball of string in it, and it's got a bit of air in it. So we'll position it there. Got the pump, I'll put it on the outlet valve of the bag. And then we'll plug it in, see how we go. So we'll just push it down a bit, get a good seal. You can see the bag's moving. It is working. Yeah, it looks pretty good. You can see it's well sealed in there. Okay, for testing we've got our specially trained stunt penguin. He's going to sit in the bag. And we'll close them up. 
Sunday locks. Yeah. Okay, I think that was about 35, 36 seconds. That was till he's absolutely sucked. We'll do the same test again with the standard pump. Go. So I think that was about 50 seconds, which is not too bad. So that's 15 seconds longer than the triple turbo. So in conclusion, the turbo is 40% faster than the original pump, which I thought it might come out a bit faster considering it's got three motors compared to one. But I think the limiting factor is actually the valve on the bag. Still, I think 40% is pretty good and it definitely makes a difference and I'll be using the old turbo sucker in the future. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.